Hi folks, welcome to another uh, One Van Two Many Topics video casts. Uh, this uh, episode is called Andrew Van After Comedy Three and a Bit Months On. So I I just want to say since I've uh, done the last video cast and I've been looking at uh, getting myself uh, employed again, and this is a. Uh, this is hopefully in view to get a uh, more regular, reliable hours and uh, you know get myself a regular uh, shift through the week. You know, like uh, regular hours, regular pay, blah blah blah. You name it. And uh, I'm doing this in assistance of a medical team that I'm uh, kind of bundled up with at the minute and uh, taking their advice and acting on uh, the interviews that I get. So yeah, this week itself has been like what, three interviews and uh, one more tomorrow. So it really just goes to show, you know, I'm getting out there. And also, you know, I could end up getting that many hours a week. I can actually completely uh, drop the tie with comedy, although I've already dropped the, cat, the tie with comedy, uh, it would be more an official thing. I've only got one commitment that I'm going to be doing, and that's in August, and that's it. The commitment stay in place where it is, uh, there's no change in that anyway, but I, uh, since i done my last video cast, because uh, I've been uh, just sending it out a copy and paste, uh, when people try and ask, ask me or engage me in the topic about the guy, I just say to him, I'm not interested, but if you, if, if you believe the laws have been broken, there's the police's number, bang, bang, bang. And that's all I do. And that keeps me a big metre uh, space between uh, acts and myself, and it's brilliant to have that one metre space. It is very easy to lose that one metre of space and have people pulling and tugging your, uh, your arm metaphorically, left, right and centre, oh, this guy, this and this guy, that, and but honestly, uh, your best, just to keep it one metre between yourself and other acts, and it just keeps things nice and, uh, nice and established, you know, your, your boundaries, uh, people know what you can, what you will do and what you won't do and all that stuff, and it, it is good. Uh, because it keeps your head clear and uh, that's what I've been uh, enjoying, a clear head over the, these l last three months. Clear head and also not being involved, not, not being pulled into stuff is absolutely fantastic and it's been doing me a whopping ton of goodness to be perfectly honest. Uh, I just want to talk briefly about uh, some myth conceptions, right? And first myth conception was I was bullied off the off the stage. No, I wasn't. And the next one was I was bullied off the stage by a person. No, I wasn't. In fact, I after one night quickly looked at my, uh, you know, like my morals versus the comedy scene morals, and thought, no, no more. I'm I'm incompatible, and uh, just kind of uh, cash my chips in from there. Uh, also, this is a truth. There's a lot of bullying on that scene, and there's a lot of bullying that actually uh, is totally condoned, and that's the one th one of the first things that really really got my goat. To be honest, bullying is unacceptable, irrespective of what platform you work at or wherever uh, you are in society, it's just totally inappropriate and the worst thing was, you know, like, bullying in the comedy scene seems to be uh, very much applauded and, uh, you know, turned a blind eye to and, you know, actually encouraged and I thought, fuck that, fuck that in the arse, I'm away. So yeah, that's that, uh, but I, somebody had said to me that, uh, some, you know, not somebody said to me, but basically people were coming up to the conclusion that a certain somebody had pushed me off the scene, bullied off, off the scene. I can understand where I come from, but it's not true. If anything, as I said, you know, I had that conscience call, you know, and then I looked at what the comedy scene provides and looked at what I provide and thought, mm, nah, 
I'm incompatible, let's go, bang, that's it. Uh, there's another one phrase I want to talk about, and the phrase is, Oh, that and tell it against me. I, I gave him, I gave him help in the past and he tell it against me. Absolute bullshit. Now, I can tell, I can tell one thing, I never got help with this person. I did get bits and pieces of advice, and I never dismissed either one of these bits of advice, which the uh, total amount of bits of advice I got was two. And uh, the help and advice had absolutely no connection to when I did uh, shout at him. And that, that uh, shouting at was actually because I had been putting up with a lot of vile abusive messages of this character for just over two months. And the last set of messages off him was an all points bulletin sent at one fifty in the morning through Facebook, WhatsApp and text message. I mean that takes a lot of that takes a lot of mental metal to actually and that, it takes a lot of uh, conviction and mental metal to actually uh, send a message to somebody via three different ways with the same uh, text in the message. Shocker, isn't it? But it was, uh, th this last message was especially vile, and that's why I, I went so angry on. It wasn't just because I, I had a temper tantrum or something like it, it was because it was specifically vile, and I was already dealing with something that I didn't really want to that day. And then when I seen that, I thought, fuck him, he needs to be dealt. That is not acceptable, and I'm not accepting it, and he's not pushing me around. But I, that's really all it is, and uh, for for uh, that person to be uh, trying to say, you know, I I turned on him uh, after him giving advice to me, absolute bullshit. The advice was a separate thing. The help was a separate thing. The help was non-existent. The advice, there was only two or three flashes of advice and nobody would be able to uh, turn back at the advice anyway. So I uh, moving on from that uh, topic, I'm going to move on to the fact uh, that uh, I'm looking to get hopefully full time employment and uh, move on with my life and I think, being honest, it's actually better than comedy because the hours are regular, the pay's regular, you know you're definitely getting paid at the end of the day. And, that, and that's all I've got to say on that one. Uh, oh, I'm so, so, it's, anyway. But I, that's what I'm saying, you know, I'm just moving on. and I don't know if I'm going to be doing a, a, after, a after comedy six months on. Maybe, I don't know, I'll just see how I feel. But ultimately, uh, since leaving the scene, I've not regretted it. In fact, it... The stress, the weight, all that shit is came straight off my shoulders and I feel quite good. I'm not involved in the he said, she said to the scene and, uh, you know, uh, that's all I can say. I'm not involved in he said, she said stuff and not being involved in all that stuff. And uh, see the people that use the phrase toxic person, that's a bit poisonous, uh, poisonous itself. You know, it's a bit of a kind of hypocrit hypocritical irony, but anyway, uh, yeah, but I, I personally, I've, uh, I've got a lot of job interviews now, and uh, hopefully getting uh, regular hours, regular pay, and uh, just moving on that bit extra in my life, so probably next video, Cass, if I, if I can be bothered doing it, will be about me and moving on and how it's going, but generally... Things are going good. My mood's a lot better. I, you know, I feel a lot better. I, I, I talk a lot better. I, I don't use Facebook to go, oh, oh, ex friend, or is it um, dear friend? This happened today and that happened today. It's just my inbox is a lot more cleaner. It's a lot more sane. It feels so good. Uh, the only thing I use my inbox now to is a uh, catch up with uh, memes, uh, coffee dates. Uh, and a variety of other things, so yeah, it, it's a lot more lighter, my inbox is lighter, my brain feels lighter, my shoulders have dropped the, the weights they used to have when I used to be on the scene, 
always pretty damn good. So yeah, and that's better. I'm going to go and I'll love you long time.